Hi boys and girls. Today's activity is for August week three, activity three, September the 4th. So I sing hello, you sing hello, Mrs. Black. Hello boys and girls. I'm gonna sing how is everyone today? You sing very fine, thank you. How is everyone today? Let's do our, cla our class creed together. Ready? Hands up. Say it with me this time. And I am a masterpiece. Unstoppable, strong, and brave. Irreplaceable, cherished. I am a musician. Good job, boys and girls. Hey, hey, look at me, I am waving, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am shrugging, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am nodding, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am pounding, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am standing, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am walking, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am running, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am wiping my hands, you see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am clapping, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am talking, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am singing, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am wiggling, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am dancing, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am walking, you can see. Hey, hey, look at me, I am sitting, you can see. Well, out came to play was, get your wings ready, bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Good. This time, let's do uh, a little bit more. Say the first phrase with me, and then you're going to say knee and snout. Ready? Here we go. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his, stung a pig upon his. I declare that you are out. All right, so who got stung on the knee? Our bear did. Who got stung on their snout? Our piggy did. Very good. Stung a bear upon his knee, stung a pig upon his Snout. Good. Say that much with me. Ready? Here we go. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Very good, boys and girls. Now, sometimes our bee likes to, he gets so excited that he flies like this. Stand up, and we're going to fly with Bernie. Bernie gets so excited about helping his mom get food for dinner that he flies like this. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Land on a flower. Good. You got some food on your legs. All right. Now, he has more food on his legs, so he has to fly like this. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I are out. Stop on another flower, get some more, and now you have even more food on your legs. Oh my goodness, you have so much food on your legs, it's hard to fly. And so you're on your way home and you fly like this. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knee. Stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. And you give all the food to mama and you go out to play. Bee, bee, bumblebee, stung a bear upon his knees, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Very good. Well, uh, so BB was so excited 
that he went to the park and he met up with his friends and he sang, hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed, let's make music, yes indeed, yes indeed, my darling, touch your nose everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed, let's make music, yes indeed, Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you run, everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you walk, everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you sit, everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you talk, everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you whisper everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. Can you sing everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darling. So in our song, how many different voices did we use? Can you hmm, everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So that's one voice. All right, what about this one? Can you everybody? Was that the same as the first one? No, you're right. It was different. So that's our second voice. Can you? All right, what about this one? Can you everybody? Yes, indeed. Was it the same as our first one? Here's our first one. Can you everybody? If you said they were different, you are right. That one is different. What about this one? Can you everybody? Can you everybody? Same or different? Different. So how many voices do we have in our song? We had three voices. Very, very good. Very good. Now you're going to have to answer that question when it comes time for your work. So I hope you are paying attention. All right. So everybody at the park was so excited. They were, and, and they wanted to have a picnic, but they wanted muffins. And so, so Bernie looked in his basket and noticed there were no muffins, so he asked his friends, Do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Do you know the muffin man who lives on Dreary Lane? Oh, yes, I know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. Yes, I know the muffin man who lives on Dreary Lane. Three little muffins in the bakery shop. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on the top. Remember, these are special muffins. They have honey and nuts on the top. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on the top. Along came a child with a penny to pay, and he bought one muffin and he ran away. And there were two little muffins in the bakery shop. You know Along came a child with a penny to pay, and he bought one muffin, and he ran away. And how many? Right, one. Say it with me. And there was one little muffin in the bakery shop. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on the top. Along came a child with a penny to pay, and she bought one muffin, and she ran away. And there was... No little muffins in the bakery shop. You know the kind with the honey and the nuts on the top. Along came a child with a penny to pay, and she said, What? No more muffins? Do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Do you know the muffin man who lives on Dreary Lane? 
Oh, yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Dreary Lane. Well, about that time came Johnny. And he was asking his friends, I have so much work. Can you help me stand up and help me help Johnny? Ready? Here we go. Get your hammers ready. Johnny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, then he works with two. Johnny works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Johnny works with two hammers, then he works with three. Johnny works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Johnny works with three hammers, then he works with four. And remember, hammers three and four are your feet. Johnny works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Johnny works with four hammers, then he works with five. Johnny works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny works with five hammers, then he works no more. And so all their friends looked down at their, they were getting ready to, to have some more fun and they started walking. They realized their shoes needed to be fixed. But in order to get to the cobbler, a person who fixes the shoes, they had to get on the train because the cobbler lived on the other side of the town. So they walked to the train station and they get on the train and the train goes, woo, woo, engine, get your engine hands ready. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. It's going to go up a really big hill. Ready? Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train goes off the track. Will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. And they got to the top of the hill and they looked down. <gasps> Look how steep the hill is. And they went down the hill like this. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Pulling into the station, engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. And so they all got off the train and they went to the cobbler's, <laughs> cobbler's workshop. Remember, cobbler is someone who fixes shoes. And they said, cobbler, would you help us get your shoe ready or your foot ready? And let's help the cobbler. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is at the door. Get it done by half past four. And now let's fix the other shoe. Ready? Now, I'm holding my shoe because you can't see my feet. Okay? But if we were in class together, I would leave my shoe on. Ready? All right, so you can hold your shoe since you're at home, or you can leave it on your foot and fix your shoe on your foot. Ready? Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is at the door. Get it done by half past four. Good job, boys and girls. So remember, on your, on your assignment, you have to tell me how many voices we used in hello, everybody. Remember, we had... Can you, hmm, everybody, yes, indeed, we had that one, we had, can you, hmm, everybody, and we had, can you, hmm, everybody, all right, so here we go, I sing goodbye, you sing goodbye back, goodbye, boys and girls, goodbye, this is black, I sing see you next time, you sing see you next time, see you next time. I sing, have a very wonderful day. You sing, have a very wonderful day. Have a very wonderful day. Good job, boys and girls. Until I see you again, see ya. Have a wonderful day.